Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request from a weekend warrior, test taking weekend warrior studying over the weekend on a preferred stock. Uh, this is a question that has high probability on many different exams. Uh, I think SIE mainly recognition, but Series 7 certainly, 65 certainly, and uh, 66 uh, certainly. So uh, I always get people telling me they had more preferred stock questions than they were expecting. I don't know what to make of that, except that you be prepared for preferred stock questions, right? So uh, if you don't have a Kaplan QBank as a paid supplement, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you use my Guru10 discount code at checkout, you get QBank for about 60 bucks. I also recommend the quick sheets. We will help you with any question from any test prep vendor. But if it's a question like this, it's a Kaplan question, just easier because I can bring it up by its QID, which in this case is 1263960. And for that commercial, uh, that's why you get the free look period or free look on the content, Kaplan content. Okay, customer owns cumulative preferred stock, really key. All I have to do is insert three letters there and it would change this answer entirely. If I put three letters before that, non-cumulative or straight, it's going to be a different answer. So uh, par value of 100. You should definitely know that par value of preferred stock is 100. Par value for bonds is 1,000. It's an 8% dividend. So you shouldn't be struggling with turning that into a dollar amount. So we're going to take the $100 par, times it by 8%. And that means we're going to expect $8 in uh, annual dividends. Now, be careful, again, as a test taker. You know, stocks, if they pay, pay quarterly. And, uh, you know, you got to kind of be careful because that's $2 if I wanted to. Uh, and I've had people on debrief say they got it asked about missing X number of quarterly dividend, dividends, right? So that would be important whether this is, uh, it says I've missed qu five quarterly dividends or six quarterly dividends, you know, so I need to know that would be $2 quarterly. The other way I might test you on that is to say, your customer has 100 shares of this 8% preferred stock. What might they be? What would they be expecting on the next dividend payment date, right? And then 800 would be annually. So next quarterly would be two dollars on 100 shares, 200 dollars. So you know, just be careful, as we always say, RTFQ. Read the full question. Okay, the dividend has not been paid this year, so it's called preferred stock. Very testable because we have preferential treatment in two areas. We're preferred to the common in terms of dividends. That's what this question is about. It's testing on, do you understand that preferred stock has seniority or preferential treatment in dividends? And preferred stock has preferential treatment in terms of uh, liquidation. It is a senior security. So we cannot pay a dividend to our common stockholders if we're in arrears to our preferred stockholders. So it hasn't been paid this year. It hasn't been paid for the previous two years. Now, I think what I would do at this point when it tells me the previous two years, I'll say, well, okay, that's two years at eight. So I'm just gonna put that there. So that looks like we've got arrears there of $16. And let's just put a nice little pretty box around that. Okay, how much must the company pay the customer per share before it can pay a dividend to common. As we said, now this is where most people blow it here. Choice A is uh, $16 perhaps, and that's incorrect because not only do they have to take care of the arrearage here, and we just get that, right? We got $16 that we're in arrears, which is a fancy word for your, your you know, your, I say, are you going to arrears with your telephone bill? That means, you know, you're down a couple of months. And that's what arrears mean, right? And, you know, then you got to pay, you got to take care of this month's payment and the two months payments that you're back. So I'm down 16 bucks here. So I would expect as a preferred stock, we get that 16 in arrears. Let's just label that. It's kind of like learning a foreign language. So when they say you dream the foreign language, that's when you know it. So I guess when you have your first preferred stock dream or series seven dream, and then the current dividend, right? So we're going to have to take care of the current dividends as we haven't paid uh to do, do, do how much must it pay so it's remember it started the dividend has not been paid this year so that's going to be another eight dollars that we're going to have to pay this year 
And so the answer to the question is we're going to have to come up with $24 to the preferred stockholders before we can pay a dividend to common. And so that is indeed our answer to this question, $24. Uh, I hope you found that uh, helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I will see you for the next installment uh, of this.